For our next loft visit, we've come to the South Shields loft of Mr. and Mrs. Elliot and Ward, winners of the Upmarth Combine. Good afternoon, Hobie. Good afternoon, kids. How long have you been in the sport? I've been in the sport since 1954. Yeah, can you remember what you started that with? I started off with the old Vanderbilt teams from, from a great friend in Washington called John Loyal in Baron Kasky, the South yeah. Shields. Yeah. What's one or two of your best positions? The up north best positions uh, when 1984, I threw the Young Board National. I clocked six pins in the first 40 of the combine, over 16,000 pigeons. Brilliant, mate. This year, well, since 1954, I flew exceptionally well at the distance. I've won a few short races in, in the past, but I mainly go for the long distance. And I think when you get a good pigeon at the long distance, you know, it's half a battle. Yeah. You're on cloud nine, especially when they fly 10, 15 hours on the wing. Yeah. You know, it's a great achievement of a small thing like that. Yeah. And I've got an exceptional pigeon this year. I've clocked him four times in four channel races. He's got a second combine out of both ears, a smash. He's got a 61st combine out of a hard chinois. He win the last, he's second out the last lil. A real steady daylight, you know, and he was 25th combine. He's won three championship clubs. He's won a two board club, and I think he's a fantastic pigeon for being a year. It's a nice pigeon, Harvey. What's this one? This is a chicken and white hen. She won the young board national. Out of 16,000 nut pigeons. I had five in the first 40 that day, I think. And she come tremendous. She was a real fast day. And I beat uh, a lad called Rutter Hetton by Desmos. Yeah. And uh, she's bred a lot of winners, this hen. She's never lived for two years, but she'll be there till the day she dies. Now. Where, where did she win the national from? The Young Board National in 1984. Yeah, where from? From uh, Folkestone. Magnificent looking, isn't she? She's, uh, she comes through uh, John Sullivan's family, Bush Arts. Crossword pigeons from Baron Faunus. What system do you race your old birds on, Hobie? Well, I've got a system. But it's a funny system where I fly the widowhood, maybe it's the first four or five races. I try to win the sprint races, but I, I win very few of them because I don't think I've got the cut off to do it, like, you know. But uh, I do the same as normal widowhood men. I treat uh, for all the diseases at, at Christmas time before I pay up. And I, uh, some one end, I've got two ends. One end I break down on Tuesday, the other end I don't break down. I try them. And I swap a week about to see if I can get different systems to different pigeons, because all different yeah. pigeons are all different. And uh, I've had very little success on the widowhood, and I've been dealing for 10 years. Yeah. And I think I know a bit about pigeons, but I may be dealing the system all around. But I've yeah. tried everybody's system, and I've tried my own systems. It doesn't, I just haven't got the pigeons to do it, my personal point. Yeah. As soon as I pay them back up, they just get into gear and that's ready for the distance. Yeah, which of the races you like? And I like I like all races, because my opinion, when you're flying pins, once you're satisfied with race, your team of pins, I think you should be finished. I'm never satisfied. I want to win every week. Yeah. I want to be first, second, third every week if I can, yeah. and that's what keeps me going. And I do, I'm a hard draft at them. I get up my bed four o'clock in the morning, and I seat me pigeons, and I go to bed for a hour. Maybe it's many or ten o'clock in the morning when I'm finished with them. And I do them on the afternoons when I pair them back up. And I do them at night times. I train two or three times a week. Sometimes I go up the week. We were maybe about four or five pins. People yeah. think I take a lot, but I did. How far do you train them? I train them from 15 miles to 30 miles, 60 miles. Yeah. And this year, when my channel pins, I had a great help of my friend, Sonny Galloway, at Hartlepool, because my late partner finished, young Kevin Ward. Great lad, couldn't fault him. At times I wish I had him back to take a bit of pressure off us. Great flood, yeah. one of the best young pigeon lads I've ever seen. What's your best pigeon on the distance then, your hens or your cocks? Oh, I think they're both about the same. I've got some fantastic hens in the stock loft. What's, I've got one in there, she took the fed three times at the channel. She's bred about 14 winners. A half sister bred me good cock I've got this year. 
Yeah, they all come through Johnny Porters of London, a fantastic family of Bouchard. That's a nice check about Hobie. What's this one? It's uh, he's a Bouchard. He's uh, he's a hell of a cock like this year. He's only a yearling. He was a hundred and eighth combine out of Lille. A month after, a fortnight after, he went back to Bovey and he threw second combine, win the section. And uh, a month after that, he went to Chinois and he flew 61st combine. And uh, a fortnight after that, he went to the last channel race and he flew second, third, 25th combine and won the championship club. Brilliant pigeon, mate, ain't he? And he's uh, considering he's only a yearling. Yeah, what system was you raced on? Well, I had him on the widow hood for the first four or five weeks and I paid him up and he went to the first channel race sitting and he went to the second channel race, the ball there where he was sitting from me, being a nine-year-old young. Man. And he went to Shinoi sitting 14 days and he flew the last little feeding 10 day young. Man. And I think that's his position when he's feeding. This is the scene inside your old bird section, home. I mean, I say it's a credit to you, pigeons look really well. How many old birds do you keep? Well, I, went, I started. I used to keep a little big team until my young partner finished this year, and what, he cut them right down to 24 pair. Yeah. I've, got, I've got four sections in the lot, four 10 foot sections, and I only use them two. Yeah, when did you pair up? I generally pair up now, it's set in the third week of January to try the widowhood again. Yeah. And uh, I flee normal after about five weeks, and I just feed a normal corn. Is Salaga super with a hood? Yeah, when you go down the road a bit, longer races, you beep it up at all? When I get to the distance, I add the corn, what you call Concord, uh, Swinson makes it yourself, a corn merchant, and I add that, plus I fetch a few beans in, maybe once or twice a week, if I think they need it. I don't mix the beans with them, because I just put them in when I feel I think they need them. I must say, Hobie, you'll offer the credit to you. It's a very smart setup. Well, this is an L shaped loft. I've got a young board loft there, it's 24 foot long, 8 foot wide. I've got a 12 foot sitting coven where I keep me corn and things in. And I've got a 40 foot old board loft, four 10 foot sections with 16 nest boxes in each section. But at the moment, I'm only using two sections because I've cut the pigeons right back. You trap through the open doors in the corridor, do you? I trap straight through the open doors to the nest boxes. And uh, sometimes I pick them up off the gantry, sometimes I pick them up in the corridor. All depends what type of pigeon drops, but some are, some are upward and some are not like. These young birds in Hobie, how do you keep? Well, this year I've bred very half the team I generally breed. I generally breed about 100 young ones because I fly next to a load of palings and I lost a canny few. But with my partner finishing, I've left myself with about 60 humans. And out of these 60, I'll be keeping 30. Yeah. They go with a full program. Yeah. And I don't mess with them. They, they get every race, and they get trained two and three times a week. And if out tomorrow with them, they're in the garden. I just kill them straight away. Yeah, how about feeding them? Would you feed your baby? Feed them. I'll give them wheat and barley in pallets on the morning. And on the night time, I'll give them Putnam's Young Board mix as much as I can eat, and I hand feed them. Yeah, they look very tame. And then uh, my wife comes in at tea time, and she likes to give them a bit of seed, a uh, red band. That's all I use. I notice a few of your babies are sitting, Hobie. What's your idea of that? Well, I like to have young ones sitting in that ever since I took the combine. And I think it gives them a little bit extra. It gives them that little bit keenness to get you faster than that. Plus you can motivate them, you can slip your ones under them and that, and you can walk them, and it quietens them down. And I think if you haven't got your ones paid up, you know, I, I, you're not, probably everybody pays up nowadays, and I think you, if you haven't got them paid up, I think you have to hang them out. It's a nice pigeon, Hobie, what's this one? This is me blue hen. Is it, when she was in her racing career, she had took the pheasant racing three times at the channel. She took the feather at Lil, 30th combine, then she took the feather at Lil again, 30th combine, then she flew Millen, 480 odd mile, and took the feather and she was 9th combine. She's about about 14 winners. Well, what I time is she? She's a bushard from Mr. and Mrs. Porter Ilford. And I thought I was 5th combine this year for me out of Beauvais Smash. And she's teaming the winners. She's getting a bit old now, like she's. She's an 11-year-old, 
you know, and I hope we get a few more for this year. How many stock pigeons do you keep, Hobie? At the moment I've got a day 14 pair. Yeah, when do you pay them up? I generally pay them up the same time as I pay me with a hood cocks up and so I can float the eggs under the widow hood pigeons. Yes. What do you look for in a stock bird? Well, I look for a, a nice bodied hen, good eye on her, and plus she's got to have the pedigree, the background. You've got to get the background of a good stock pigeon. Yeah. I mean, she all the pigeons has got good, good eyes, some of them have. Yeah. You know, and the uh, body's not, but you've got to get the pedigree. Yeah. And that's it, like, you know, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, right, Hobie. I must say, your pigeons and officer credit to you, mate, and I thank you for letting me come around and see them today. It's a pleasure, Keith.